Hey guys, dang old nerd here. Um, it's, it's like 23 degrees this morning in uh, DFW. So uh, just my morning dry fire practice. Uh, wearing my heavy coat and gloves. Um, just trying to, you know, practice. Practice, you know, with the clothes that you, you're going to wear. So yeah. Um, <laughs> So it's, it's been pretty cold. Um, I don't know, I don't have much today. Uh, I do plan to go to the range again, um, either today or tomorrow, sometime this weekend. Uh, I did get some more ammo. I ordered, I like Academy, so they're still pretty, you know, pretty decent as far as the prices. Um, let's see, I got 600 rounds of um, the Monarch, just, Full metal jacket, 115 grain. Um, I had like this Academy gift card, <laughs> it's $15 off your next purchase. So I use that. Um, so with everything, with the gift card, um, it came down to about 30, about 33 cents per round. So I, that, that's okay, I guess. That's about as good as it's gonna get. So that should be coming in the next week. Um, so I'm gonna go <laughs> blast maybe 200 rounds. Got it. I gotta try to conserve my ammo a little bit. So, um, but anyways, let's see what what have I been doing? Um, all week I've been carrying my P365, P365 just to kind of get a feel for how, you know, this little extended uh, muzzle is going to feel <laughs> inside the appendix carry, but not too bad. Um, I just, I just put the tier one, this is the medium size wedge. I just put that so it kind of, you know, buffers the, the little comp at the end. So that's been good. No problem with that. Um, I'll go try to shoot some more rounds through it. And okay, so um, for today's outing, I'm going to, uh, I got my P320, which I'm carrying, and so I'm gonna take the 365, it's empty. And so I'll just take the empty mag. This is just for the range. So put it in the holster and then for the mag side, I got, an, uh, this is the extra mag for the P320. So when I'm at the indoor, <coughs> indoor range, I, I don't do mag changes. So I just bring usually just one. Um, I'll put my little flexible pad on there. And then this goes at the top here. This is just for the range, not for just off body carry. So that stays there. Uh, for ammo, I have, <laughs> so since I ordered 600 rounds plus the 800, I mean the 800 that I have, I'm going to shoot off these. So I have the last 100 rounds of the, the aluminum case ammo. And then I have these, this is the 147 grain hundred rounds of the browning so this little container holds about holds 200 so I guess that's gonna be my limit today just 200 so uh, I'm only gonna take my two SIGs the 320 and the 365 and that fits, fits into this little container and in the pouch and that gets got velcro on the back so that just goes right here at the bottom uh ear pro i'll just take one of these i have the foam ears in here and then i just kind of secure it with some velcro just to keep it there so that's basically my usual solo outing 
Um, I'll take my, this has all the SIG tool and the tool for the, whatever the, what is that, the Holosun. It's got batteries, extra batteries in here. So I'll keep that over here. And speed loader, I'll take that. And that's basically it, I think. Um, in here, I, I got some painter's tape. Oh, iPro, I need some iPro. Well, I, I have that in the car. I usually take where my, the ones with the yellow lens. That seems to work out pretty good, but I'll just take some the clear ones. And throw that in here. And what else? I think that's it. That's all I really need for the range. Zip everything up. Uh, IFAC. So I'll just, I usually attach the IFAC to the, the front there. Um, I use this. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that this came from my Everlit first aid kit and I just run it through these little slots. Okay, so I run them through this slot and then it snaps together. And the kit just goes in here. Loop it through the back. And then it just clips on. Just like that. And this is my <coughs> solo range, <laughs> range bag. This is kind of what I usually take when I go to the range. Last time I took my big bag and it was just cumbersome trying to carry. I ended up breaking my stupid tripod thingy. So. Well, that was my <laughs> my range day. Um, so this is Saturday. I couldn't I couldn't get to the range yesterday on Friday. Um, well, I stayed home, took a day off of work because I had a dental appointment, and um, 
ended up doing just a bunch of errands uh, with my wife yesterday. It was good. Um, she always bribes me, you know, if I go with her, then um, she'll buy my lunch. So I had really good lunch yesterday and dinner and um, a couple of different Korean restaurants. It was worth it. She just wants me to go with her to carry, you know, everything. We go to Costco or whatever appointments she has and I have to carry everything. So um, it's worth it. But anyway, so Saturday, um, just, <laughs> I don't know, I think I just learned my lesson. Um, you should always bring more ammo than you think you're going to use. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, be frugal and, you know, conserve, just use whatever, you know, I can replace, you know, <laughs> so 200 rounds and yeah, I, I, I want to stay longer. I don't know, for some reason I was kind of scattering my shots a little bit more after like beyond 10 yards, then the shots are, especially with the, my 365. So I don't know. I have a tendency to kind of jerk my trigger and maybe it's a little anticipation. So I would have liked to stay and work on that. But uh, anyways, uh, that's something for next time. Um, but that's <laughs> all I have for you th uh, this week. Um, yeah, so if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll I'll see you next time.